Hello everyone, welcome to TechCast. So, we are going to learn computer fundamentals or you can say basic of computer. So, in this chapter, all the information will be in English and the discussion will be in Hindi as well as English. So, first of all, we are going to know what is computer and block diagram of computer and then computer hardware, computer software and classification of computer. As this is our first video, so we will not go for details discussion. But in the upcoming video, we will have a topic wise discussion that means in details discussion. So let us proceed to the next slide. First of all, we are going to know what is computer. So computer is an electronic machine. It is a combination of hardware and software. It takes inputs from us. It uses some program or set of instruction to process these inputs. Finally, it delivers output as per our requirement. It can also store our data. Computer follows input, process, output cycle. So this is the basic definition of a computer. And this definition is applicable for all kind of digital computers. Next is block diagram of computer. So this is block diagram of a computer. And this is also called basic computer organization. And this diagram also known as von Neumann architecture. So, this diagram में आपको चार main component देखने को मिल रहा है. One is first is input unit, central processing unit, output unit, and storage unit. Now, look at here. All the input devices will send the information to the CPU, and CPU will process the information and gives the output to the output unit. ठीक है ना? तो इसी इसी process में आपको आप relate कर सकते हो input process output cycle को input process output cycle को but यहाँ पर storage unit की क्या काम रहेगा अगर CPU को कुछ information storage unit से लेना होता है तब उस time पे storage device से information CPU में जाता है अगर CPU को information save करना है तो उस time पे CPU से information storage unit में आता है इसलिए आपका जो यहाँ पर जो direction दिख रहा है वो bidirectional है और यहाँ पर अगर आप आप देखें तो यहाँ पर आपको जो डायरेक्शन दिख रहा है वो यूनिट डायरेक्शन है दैट मींस एक ही डायरेक्शन दैट मींस इनपुट टू सीपीयू एंड देन सीपीयू टू आउटपुट यूनिट सो आपको बेसिकली यहां पर ब्लॉक डायग्राम क्या है उसको याद रखना है क्योंकि आगे आने वाले जो डिटेल्स डिस्कशन होगा जैसे कि इनपुट यूनिट से डिस्कशन रहेगा सीपीयू के बारे में डिस्कशन रहेगा आउटपुट यूनिट के बारे में स्टोरेज यूनिट के बारे में तो उस टाइम पे आपको डिटेल्स डिस्कशन देखने को मिलेगा ठीक है तो यहां पर आपको सिर्फ ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ कंप्यूटर क्या है उसी डायग्राम को इस डायग्राम को याद रखना है ठीक है तो सो इन दिस स्लाइड वी आर गोइंग टू नो व्हाट इज कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर सो कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर एक्चुअली क्या है ऑल द फिजिकल कंपोनेंट दैट आर कनेक्टेड टू द कंप्यूटर इज कॉल्ड कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर बेसिक डेफिनेशन जो था कंप्यूटर की उसमें हमने जाना था कि एक्चुअली कंप्यूटर क्या है कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर एंड कंप्यूटर सॉफ्टवेयर की कॉम्बिनेशन था तो उसी में कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर है तो कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर में जो चार मेन कंपोनेंट रहते हैं हमारे कंप्यूटर में जैसे कि इनपुट यूनिट आउटपुट यूनिट प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट एंड स्टोरेज यूनिट उसी यूनिट के जो डिवाइसेस रहेगा वो सभी के सभी हार्डवेयर में इंक्लूड किया जा सकता है नाउ व्हाट आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ इनपुट डिवाइस आउटपुट डिवाइस एंड प्रोसेसिंग डिवाइस एंड द स्टोरेज डिवाइस लेट्स सी फॉर दैट नाउ बेसिक एग्जांपल क्या रहेगा इनपुट डिवाइसेस की फर्स्ट इज कीबोर्ड एंड माउस दिस आर द बेसिक एग्जांपल ऑफ इनपुट डिवाइस after that we have scanner light pen joystick microphone stylus msr etc now in output device the main example of output device is monitor so monitor is the main output device example after that we have projector printer speaker plotter these are the also these are the also example of output device now next is processing device processing, processing device mein kya hota hai cpu jo hai wo hai main processing device After that we have motherboard, SMPS, DVD, drive, NIC, etc. और यहाँ पर जो motherboard है ना actually motherboard में CPU, SMPS, DVD drive और भी और भी component जो है वो actually connected रहता है तो फिर भी हम इसको processing device में include कर सकते हैं तो storage device में क्या रहेगा इसमें रहेगा hard disk drive जो HDD कहा जाता है RAM, ROM, CD, DVD, pen drive etc. वो सभी के सभी example है किस चीज की storage device की so in in this slide just we have the overlook of computer hardware and after that we will have a look of computer software now 
next topic is computer software so first of all what is computer software so computer software is a set of instruction or set of program that tell computer how to work or actually this software is designed to handle the computer hardware so in computer software we can category categorize this software in three types and the first one is system software second one is application software and third one is utility software sometimes a uh, utility software can be included to the system software but you can separate it no problem now let's look for some example now what are the example of system software the main example of system software is operating system or you can simply say os and the example of operating system is windows operating system and its version is 7 8 8.1 a 10 or is a very boss version that old version is windows xp windows uh, 98 etc or mac os b example or system driver bios compiler assembler interpreter all are the example of system software and next is application software so editing software ms paint ms excel powerpoint different types of browser game could be editing uh, video editing software all these things will be application software okay next is a utility software so main example of utility software you can say antivirus backup utility disk cleaner file management tool all these things are the example of utility software so this is the basic structure of computer software in the upcoming video we will have the details discussion of the computer software so let's proceed to the next slide now how can we classify the computer so basically we can classify the computer in three categories first one is computational method second one is based on size and capability and third one is purpose voice so in computational method we can categorize the computer in three types suppose in analog computer digital computer and hybrid computer now based on the based on size and capability we can classify the computer like supercomputer mainframe computer mini computer and microcomputer so here we have some example of microcomputer like your laptop desktop agar personal computer bhi rehte ya handheld device so sab kuch kya hota hai microcomputer ki ek tarah ki example hai so agar dekha jaye to purpose wise kaise hum isko classify kar sakte hain first is general purpose and then is special purpose so this is the basic structure of computer classification so this is our first uh, lecture in the upcoming lecture that is lecture 2 we will have the detailed discussion of computer classification so if you have any doubt you can write on the comment box so at last thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon isse kya hoga aage aane wale video ki notification aapko milta rahega aur isse aapka study continue rahega so agar aapko fir bhi kisi tarah ke doubt hai to comment box mein zarur likhiyega and like and share zarur karna hai and thank you keep learning keep smiling